Good morning, beautiful people. It's your favorite real estate agent, Sierra Thurman, and I'm here to help you build a legacy that moves you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you could be notified each and every Tuesday when I post a new video. In today's video, we want to talk about earnest money. What is it and when is it due? Earnest money is the amount of money that a buyer will put up during the process of purchasing a home. They're pretty much going to put down a deposit and let the seller know that they're a serious buyer. Um, typically, I usually see anywhere from maybe $1,000 to $5,000 depending on the purchase price. But typically, this are the, these are the funds that shows the seller that you are serious about purchasing their property or their home. Earnest money is typically due within three business days of your accepted contract. So the buyer is going to submit an offer. The seller is going to either accept, reject, or counter that offer. But once we have a meeting of the minds and both parties agree, that is the date of acceptance. So from the date of acceptance, your earnest money is typically due within three business days. So you're also gonna have something called a due diligence period. That's usually where you have your attorney review and inspection period. Um, after you've submitted your offer, it's been accepted, you've put forward your earnest money, you have about five business days to do your due diligence. So that's generally inspections, a home inspection. Your attorney is reviewing the contract. During the due diligence period, there may be more negotiation or you completely walk away from the home, but you won't be penalized in any way. If you try to get out of the contract after the due diligence period, your earnest money will serve as upfront damages for the seller in a sense. So they've had their property off the market. Let's say we're on day 20 of going through this process and you decide, you know what, I changed my mind. I don't wanna buy this house anymore. Well, the earnest money will be kept by the seller because they now have to find a new buyer and start this process all over again. So those funds will be awarded to the seller for them to keep. Um, if there are some other contingencies in place, you will still be able to get out of your contract for instance, uh, maybe you have a, a financial contingency. If you're not able to get financing from the lender, then you can't close on the property. Therefore, you will not be held responsible or liable, and you would receive your earnest money back in that case. Same thing if there's like an appraisal um, contingency in place. Um, the house has to appraise out at a certain value, or you get to walk away from the deal if you can't come to a meeting of the minds with the seller. So... I don't want to go off into too many other topics. I definitely just did. Let's focus on earnest money. I just want you all to be familiar with what it is. Again, that's a deposit that you put forward toward the purchase of a home. Um, that money will go towards the purchase of the home. So let's say, for instance, the property is $100,000. You end up putting down $1,000 of earnest money. That $1,000 of earnest money will be credited toward the purchase of the home. So when you get to closing, you still only got $99,000 more to put down. So again, I just wanted to quickly review what exactly earnest money is and when it's due. You now know that it is your deposit that you're putting toward the property, letting the seller know that you're a serious buyer. And it's typically due within three business days of an accepted contract. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. If you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or even invest in property, I'm your girl. My name is Sierra. I'm your favorite real estate agent, and I'm here to help you build a legacy that moves you. I'm a licensed agent with Coldwell Banker Realty High Park. Have a great day.